Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving my Mochi Squishy a makeover. This is a twist on Mariah Elizabeth's Squishy Makeovers. So instead of a squishy, I'm doing these little mochi squishies which are different because they're not made from foam. So my idea for this is to turn this into a squeeze toy because it's stretchy and I don't think it'll turn out that good if I paint over it because I won't be able to stretch it. So the first thing I'm going to do is tape the entire squishy and leave a little hole for the squeeze toy to come out. So this is what I have so far. As you can see, the entire squishy is taped except for this area right here. It's kind of hard to see, but when I squish it, that part squeezes out. So the next step is to paint this with puffy paint. I'm going to use mostly puffy paint and mix a little bit of acrylic paint to create a matcha color. This is the look I'm going for. I don't know the name of the mochi characters, but if you do, please comment down below. So here's the finished mochi squishy. It's not the smoothest squishy. I did try my best to make it as smooth as possible, but it was really difficult because I used tape. On the back is the Onsen Manju logo. And here's the side profile. It has a really nice squeeze. This was a really simple and fast DIY. This was a really short video because it was that easy. So if you guys want to make your own squeeze toy, this is a really cheap method because the mochi squishy... I just realized that I turned a mochi squishy into a mochi squishy. So the original mochi squishy before I decoded it, those are really cheap. I think you can buy them for like a dollar or less. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed watching this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.